We're going to look at now at how we can solve algebraic equations. So again, this is something which really is uh, was on your M4 last year, uh, so you should be okay with this. Uh, to do this, again, you've got to find a common denominator on the left-hand side. So for, for number part one here, common denominator is going to be x minus 2 upon 2x minus 5. And if you're x minus 2, you're first of, uh, on the first term here, the first algebraic fraction, x minus 2 here gets multiplied by 2x minus 5. So the top line also gets multiplied by 2x minus 5. So that becomes 4 upon 2x minus 5. And then that's going to be this denominator here gets multiplied by x minus 2. So the numerator also gets multiplied by x minus 2. So that's going to be plus 3 upon x minus 2. Okay, you can do this uh, a number of ways. You can multiply across at this stage by the denominator, or you can keep it where it is. I'm going to multiply across, I think, at this stage. Uh, I'll show you the different way of doing it in the next example, just to show you you can do it. it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to have 4 upon 2x minus 5 plus 3 upon x minus 2. And the only thing I've done is multiply across by the denominator, so that becomes 5 upon x minus 2 upon 2x minus 5. Okay, now from here on in, it really is just a lot of tidying up, multiplying out and tidying up. So on the left-hand side, when you multiply it, you're going to get 8x minus, 8x minus 20 plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 5 upon, and I'm going to multiply this, these double brackets here. You're going to have 2x squared minus 5x minus 4x plus 10. And tidy up on my left hand side, I'm going to have 11x minus 26. On my right hand side, multiply it to 5, you're going to have 10x squared um, minus, oh here, I should have tidied that up a little bit. A lot of, we squeeze a line in here, that's going to be 5 times the 2x squared minus 9x plus 10. And then that's going to be 5 times the minus 9 is going to be minus 45x and then plus 50. Bring it all to one side, put it equal to zero. So I'm going to bring it all to the right hand side. And I'm going to have, oops, sorry, I've just noticed that's a minus five. So that's easy fixed. That's a minus five. So that's going to be minus 10 plus 45. And then that's going to be minus 50. Uh, so we'll actually bring it over to the left hand side to make the x squared term positive. So that's going to be 10 x squared. And then that's going to be minus 30, uh, 34x. Yep, minus 34x. And then plus 24 is equal to 0. Okay, that's a fairly difficult looking uh, quadratic. So what I can do here, everything's divisible by 2. So divide everything by 2, first of all, to give you 5x squared minus 17x plus 12 is equal to zero and that might make life a wee bit easier for me to uh, factorize so here i'll just go one down here and finish this one off my sum is equal to minus 17 my product is equal to 60 so we'll go through how we get 60 60 is equal to minus minus one times minus 60 i'm using both minuses because my product is positive but my sum is negative so I've also got minus 2 times minus 30. I've also got minus 3 times minus 20. I've also got minus 4 times minus 15. I've also got minus 5 times minus 12. And I found that minus 5 and minus 12 are my two numbers. So here we'll write, rewrite that as 5x squared uh, minus 5x minus 12x plus 12 is equal to 0. So that means 5x comes outside, leaving you x minus 1. Minus 12 comes outside, leaving you x minus 1. Write down your common bracket, which was x minus 1, and then your other bracket, which was 5x minus 12, is equal to 0. You're in this lovely situation in mathematics where you've got a times b equals 0. So either your a is equal to 0, so that means your x minus 1 equals 0 which means x equals 1 or it means your 5x plus I'm oh, sorry it's 5x minus 12 is it? 5x minus 12 is equal to 0 which means 5x is equal to 12 
which means x itself is equal to 12 divided by 5, and 12 divided by 5 would be 2.4. So your two answers are x equals 1 and x equals 2.4. Okay, we're going to go back up and do this next one, see how we get on. Okay, this one looks a little bit uh, trickier, but it really is just the same uh, principles involved. So in this one, again, take a common denominator. Your common denominator this time is going to be x minus 2 upon x plus 1. Still equal to 6 on the right-hand side. And this term here, it needed to be multiplied by, the bottom line needed to be multiplied by x plus 1. So the top line also gets multiplied by x plus 1. So that's just going to be x plus 1 upon x plus 1. And for this term, for this term here, the bottom line needed to get multiplied by uh, x minus 2. So the top line also gets multiplied by x minus 2. So it's plus 3x minus 1 upon x minus 2. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is multiply across uh, by the denominator. I think it just saves me a bit of time and or a bit of space writing this out. So that's x plus 1 upon x plus 1 plus 3x minus 1 upon x minus 2 is equal to 6 upon x minus 2 upon x plus 1. And again, from here on in, it's just multiplying out and tidying up. It's a long old process, but we can do it. So uh, first thing, this first pair of brackets here, when you multiply that out, you're going to get x squared plus x plus x plus 1. When you multiply this one out, you're going to get 3x squared minus 6x minus x plus 2. And then I'm going to have a 6 upon, and I'm just going to multiply out this bracket. So it's going to be x squared plus x minus 2x minus 2. And then we're going to just tidy up. So tidy up your left hand side, uh, tidy up your right hand side first. I forgot to do this last time. Uh, that's going to be x squared minus x minus 2. And tidy up your left hand side, you're going to have 4x squared. Uh, plus x plus x minus 6x minus x that's going to be minus 5x and then plus 3 so we've got 4x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 6x squared minus 6x minus 12 bring it all to one side I'll bring it to the right hand side this time to give me 2x squared and uh, sorry 2x squared minus x and then minus 15. Okay, thankfully again this one factorizes. If it didn't factorize, you just have to use your quadratic equation, but we're lucky enough in this case it does factorize. My sum is equal to minus one, my product is equal to minus 30. And if you go through that, minus 30 is equal to minus one times 30, it's equal to minus two times 15, it's equal to minus three times 10 equal to minus 5 times 6 is equal to minus 6 times 5 and there's my pair of numbers because minus 6 and 5 add to give minus 1. So you rewrite uh, rewrite your uh, quadratic equation here as 2x squared minus 6x plus 5x minus 15. Factorize the first two terms completely so that means the x and the 2 both need to come out leaving you 2x upon x minus 3. And over here, 5 can come out, leaving you x minus 3. You know you're on the right track because you've got your common bracket. Write down your common bracket, um, which was x minus 3. And then it was multiplying 2x, and it was multiplying plus 5. Again, you're in this lovely stage of mathematics where you've got a times b equals 0. So that means either the a equals 0. So x minus 3 equals 0, or your 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. So solve that x minus 3 equals 0 means x equals 3, or this means 2x equals minus 5, which means x is equal to minus 5 divided by 2, or minus, I'll write it as the decimal, minus 2.5. Okay, you're now ready to do your algebra and equations. Exercise 2D, the odds, and exercise 2E also the odds.